Yo, what's the word? I'm taking it. I'm Kia. Today's lunch is hot pepperoni pizza. Tomorrow's lunch is chicken tenders with waffles. Your chess club took on an over this past Monday, and the battles were epic. The battles of Hastings, Grunwald, and Falkirk could not compare. We love many fields triumph of what a sight to be behold. We hope to see more students next Monday after school in room 345 to prepare for our next. Today we are doing doing jokes. You know, yeah, you all know how this works. Let's start right off with Mr. Macabert. Last year, my friend told me he was going to quit his job to start a miming career. I haven't heard from him since. Get it? Because he's a mime, so he doesn't speak anymore. <laughs> and now from Mr. I don't know how to say his name. Keeney. Keeney. A Coast Guard cutter is out kind of patrolling the oceans and uh, comes across this long, narrow boat with a shallow draft. And on the side of it, along the hull, are hanging uh, a lot of colored shields, multicolored, beautiful shields. It was clearly a Viking boat. And as they approached, they could hear this strange pounding, bang, 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 bang. And the first mate turns to the captain and says, Captain, what do you make of that? And the captain says, I don't know. I can't decipher Norse code. Once again, teachers, you can vote for your favorite jokes. Don't forget that. Oh no, that is not what that said, but okay. Come join us in the art digital club and make art with us every Monday. Starting November 4th from 2.30 to 3.30. Girls tennis team finished their season with the tennis banquet on Tuesday night. Awards presented were most team points, Caitlin Easton, first singles award, Gabby Newton, first doubles award, Macy Rudy, Abby Semensky, Avery Anderson, academic all-state, Abby Semensky, and Gabby Newton. All-conference, Gabby Newton and Caitlin Easton. Captains for next year are Caitlin Easton and Melanie Lee. No, I think it's time for the national calendar. We will never stop doing this, so you better believe we're going to make it fun. Today is National Bandana Day. <laughs> ah, I don't know what that word is. Country? Country to... Uh, read, read that. Country. Take it. <laughs> what you might be thinking. Oh, Bandana Day is not about pirates, but about cancer awareness for all. Show your support for the noble cause by wearing a bandana on your own. Attention all students. Parking permits are, are required to park at Corn Rapids High School during the school hours. Contrary to the rumors, there is no free parking lot for students that park at the school. During the day, all parking at Cool Rapids High School requires a parking permit. Students must park in a student-only lot. The lot across from the lot across by the tennis courts are for staff only. Security staff have begun ticketing cars that are not displayed a valid permit. If you receive a ticket, you must visit the finance window to pay it. Parking permits can still be purchased from the finance window and they are oh, 105. Oh, y'all crazy. <laughs> For the full year pass and $35 per trimester. Any questions, please visit Miss Matthews. We got some CTN sports highlights for all of y'all to see. Section playoff for these two squads. The football team is going to look and try and sack its opponent. Grab a comfy spot and watch this short show. Sports Night is next. Farmington Tigers came to town as the Cards one non-conference opponent of the season. Last year they faced each other in the finale and it was a thriller that went to overtime. This year wasn't quite as close. Cardinals the number eight seed in their section, but in set class 5A because there are only 32 teams. So it's five wins to get a state championship. Yep. Uh, they crossed the, the first round, uh, so Coon Rapids from Section 5 will play the number one seed 
from Section 3. That's Mounds View. Uh, and should they pull off the, a monumental upset, they would maybe have a chance at Farmington, who is an upper four seed. They host Prior Lake. That's the difference between a five and three and a four and four club. Uh, bottom half of that uh, quarter, I guess, of the uh, tournament, uh, you have Stillwater hosting St. Michael Albertville, and Shakopee, the number two seed, is hosting Eastview. And Shakopee, although the number two seed, Last time the Cardinals hit the road for a conference crossover game, going to Spring Lake Park on Tuesday. Panther had just three wins this season, so they were another team desperate for positive moments before the postseason. Like the football's uh, monumental task, here's one for the Cardinal Volleyballers. They're the number eight seed. They travel to take out number one, Centennial. Anoka is the number two seed. They host Andover. Forest Lake will welcome Cambridge Isani and Blaine taking the long drive north to face the fourth seeded Duluth East Greyhounds. That one we will have, even though we are the much lower seed. Yes. And we will be there for that action. Of course, we can't have it for you live because it's the playoffs, but it will replay uh, on our air at midnight. The swimming and diving team had the conference try meet last, uh, last week. Uh, they're part of the Northwest Suburban Conference Tournament, and they did great. They get their first win of the season by beating Park Center. Park Center is actually the host of this uh, event, so you would think they were maybe the highest of the three. It's for the final three spots right. in the conference, but uh, now the Cardinals uh, getting the number two spot. Uh, Delilah Smith-Jeanette, not terribly surprising to see her get a first place finish in diving. Another great score. She's been in those mid to high 180s uh, the last half of the season, and that is a great place for her to be. Uh, Ellie Lewis had a second place finish in the 200 freestyle, also in the 500 free. Eighth grader Willie Moulton was second place in the 100 backstroke, third in the 200 IM. Emily Lovin was third place in the 100 butterfly, and Liz Hogarth was third in the 100 freestyle. Those girls now have a couple of weeks off because the swimming uh, section tournament doesn't start until November the 7th. Yes. But that is going to do it for this very short show uh, of Sports Night. We will have volleyball sections on Thursday evening. Uh, and then barring some upsets and an opportunity for us to do more playoffs for the fall, uh, that will complete our fall schedule. And we will start with the girls hockey opener on Wednesday. November the 12th. But that is going to do it for this edition of Sports Night. I want to thank everybody out for joining us and continuing to support everything we do here at CTN. For the entire crew, including Paris Foster behind the camera, and my friend Howie Shapiro, I'm Joe Young, saying goodnight. We'll see y'all tomorrow.